Campbell gone via the transfer portal. Keenan Kristen had made that decision just uh, days after the season was over. He ran for about 500 yards in his Trojan career and five touchdowns. So those are the subtractions. When you look at the additions with Travis Dye, one of the more prolific rushers in the history of Oregon football, and also Austin Jones, a pretty productive back with over 1,000 yards in his career at Stanford, the additions seem to severely outweigh the subtractions. They do. And the key point here, and it's not something uh, you haven't heard before from me, Mark, on the voice of college football. It's that, you know, Travis Dye and Austin Jones were not working with great quarterbacks. Now, Tanner McKee showed promise at Stanford, but still a freshman. And you still saw his limitations over the full course of the season. Uh, And of course, definitely at Oregon uh, with Anthony Brown, you certainly didn't get uh, a, a, an elite quarterback who could make his running back look as good as humanly possible. Travis Dye succeeded at Oregon in spite of his quarterback. Uh, you know, Joe Moorhead had a lot more to do with Travis Dye's success than Anthony Brown did. But now you come to USC in this roaring Ferrari of an offense with Lincoln Riley as the coach and play caller, Caleb Williams as the quarterback. Man, that is a situation in which Travis Dye is very much set up to succeed. Uh, so you're going to get good players in Travis Dye and Austin Jones, but then Lincoln Riley's coaching, Lincoln Riley's system, and having this crown jewel of a quarterback, they're all going to enhance uh, what Dye and Jones did uh, at their previous stops in the Pac-12.